hey everyone welcome to and welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to walk you through the windows fundamental module of hack the box academy it is a very pretty cool module like i have learned a lot of stuff so if you are a beginner in cyber security i highly recommend you to check this out so without further ado let's start so here is a table of contents the first one is introduction introduction to windows so i highly recommend you guys to read the whole theory part because you will learn a lot you guys know me i love the practical stuff so we directly dive into the practical part of the module accessing windows we have local we can access windows through local access concept remote access concept and remote access we have the rdp that is remote desktop protocol and the logical port of rdp is 3389 and please make notes, huh? please make notes. And they have a short video, like how we can connect to the remote desktop connection. Okay. And we, we can also use X-Free RDP. It is a Linux based tool. We can use it to remotely access Windows target and will practically demonstrate this as well let me first download the vpn connection because i don't want any trouble cd download let me just zoom it Okay, this mod open VPN Academy. Okay, initialization sequence completed. Cool. Now let's start our target machine. Like it will take maybe one or two minutes. And the question is what is the build number on the target workstation? So if you go up, you will see this command. Okay. Uh, where is that command? this command they have already provide the command like if you are good in powershell okay if you're good in powershell you can easily solve this particular module okay so the ip address is here let's copy it okay so the first question is what is the build number of the target workstation so first and foremost we have to connect to the rdp session okay and we are in the linux machine so what we will do let me create a new tab Let's become sudo. Cool. Now there is a service called X free RDP. Okay. RDP and let's write help. So these are the flags, but we will use the slash V is for the server host name. Okay p is for the password as you guys can see here okay the rdp this this will be our ip address with the user is the htb student and the password is the academy win fun and the exclamation mark so you have to use this command okay x free rdp the the server okay the ip address of the server the username that is htb user and the password of that htb htb student sorry let's hit enter do you trust the above certificate you have to write yes now the session is open okay great now let's go up and Copy it. Okay, we have to write the PowerShell. Windows PowerShell. Okay, so let's paste our command. Okay, so the version is 10.0 and the build number is this 19041. So let's go to the question what is the build number of the target workstation 
let's submit okay yes it is correct uh, which windows nt version is installed on the workstation and it is it should be case sensitive like windows x windows 10 is installed okay there is another way as well to check you have to press windows plus r win version okay and hit okay and you will see windows 10 let's write windows 10 submit let's complete the task okay the next task is related to core of the operating system okay and operating system structure exploring directories using command line we already know how to use the dir command and the tree command the file systems are like more command is also there okay okay find the non-standard directory in the c drive submit the content of the flag file saved in the directory okay let's see the hint the name of the directory starts with the letter a okay okay let's close it let's type cmd command prompt and it is in the c directory right okay now i think the text is readable so let's write the cd dot dot we are in the user directory now and we are in the c directory or the c folder let's hit the dir command okay so we have this academy performance log program files user windows okay so this is the directory that is academy like non-standard directory let's go to the academy folder hit dir and here is our flag.txt okay let's write the so you can't use the cat command to cat the flag okay to read the content of the flag so we are in the windows operating system so we have to write the type command type flag.txt and here is our flag let's copy it and paste it here submit the answer cool let's mark complete and next okay the file system there are five types of file system in windows and please read the pros and cons as well and here we have permission the ntfs file system permission uh, we have full control modify list folder content read and execute write read traverse folders we also have integrity control access control list I don't know how to pronounce the short version of this. So these are the basic access permission, like full access, delete access, no access. So this is how we can check the permissions of the users in a system. Let's see our question first. What system user has full control over the C user directory? Okay, so let's go to our session. okay so we have to come out of this academy folder let's hit dir and let's go to the users okay cd okay let me clear the screen first dir we are going into the user directory cd users hit dir okay hdb students mrb 3n default user public okay so we have to check the permission of the user of this particular directory so what we will do so we'll use this particular command that is i c a c l s and we will provide the path of the directory use this command and everyone nt authority system and the bob smith bob dot smith will be our user who has the full access in our system what system user have full access let's write bob smith submit 
okay cool okay so this is the way okay this is the way we can check the permission of the user and you have to remember these these permissions okay f is for full access d is for delete access n is for no access modify access read read and execute access read only access so you have to read it and these are the inheritance settings okay like container inherit object inherit inherit only do not propagate inherit okay so let's go to the next section okay ntfs versus share permission so microsoft owns over 70 percent of the global market share on desktop operating system with windows cool the eternal so they are just you know telling us the eternal view vulnerability here the server message block protocol that is smb and the share permission full control change read so these are the share permissions we have ntfs basic permissions like full control modify read and execute list folder content read write special permission and these are the ntfs special permissions by the way how like how to create a network share in windows first create the folder making the folder a share okay we'll see that in our last section we have to provide the share permission through acl like the sharing table and for now we are going to apply this setting to the effect of the acl we will test connectivity from the pawn box by opening terminal and using smb client okay using smb client to connect to the share like we have solved this okay we have already connected like we have solved the eternal blue vulnerability machine so i think many people aware of this thing windows defender firewall consideration windows defender firewall profiles like public private and domain please check like it is really important to check the inbound and outbound firewall rules these are the ntfs permission through security tab and uh, displaying share using the net share let's check by the way net share we'll write the net share command okay the c is there ipc admin the command complete successfully okay so these are the three shares we have cool monitoring shares from the computer management yeah we can also do that as well okay let me show you mm, let me close it computer management and here you can see the share folder okay click on shares and you will see the same details okay through command line you have to write the net share to check the shares and you can also use the computer management to see the shares okay let me close it okay the event viewer like viewing share access logs in event viewer to be honest i didn't check that let's see the question what protocol discussed in this section is used to share resources on the network using windows format case sensitive we all know that is smb smb protocol we will use great what is the name of the utility that can be used to view logs made made by windows system format two words one space not case sensitive okay let's see the hint it was one of the last thing discussed in the section that is event viewer obviously submit great what is the full directory path to the company data share we created okay so we haven't created by the way i think the, they have created it on desktop let's check go up the data company data directory so as you guys can see 
uh, they have created it on the C user HTB student desktop company data. Okay, the company data location. And here you guys can also see displaying shares using NetShare. So let's let's copy it. And paste it here sorry I'm just so tired guys that is the reason I'm just copying and pasting it let's submit uh, mark complete and next so next section is window services and process so this is how we can check the running processes status equal to running select first two so these are the important services the hack the box academy mentioned the processes processes run in the background on windows system we all know this local security authority subsystem service sys internal tools task manager is also there process explorer is a part of this internal tools wait let's see the question by the way Identify one of the non-standard update service running on the host. Submit the full name of the service executable, not the display name as your answer. Let's see the hint. Use PowerShell. The service is related to PDF editing. So PDF editing means the reader will be there. Okay, The reader word will be there. So let's go to the session and click on the powershell so let's go up okay so the get service command we, we will use okay so this will be our command that is get service where object and the name is like the reader okay because we are just predicting that the if the service is related to pdf so maybe it, it could be the adobe reader or maybe some other kind of software we have so let's hit enter okay foxy reader and the display name is foxit reader update service but we want this name right so we'll use the fl so it will display the property on a separate line let's hit enter okay so this is the display name and this is the name of the service that is running it's a pdf editing service according to the hint yeah pdf editing so okay we have to write the dot exe because it's a windows service right okay so we have completed this section okay the service permissions i think it's just a theoretical part of the module yeah it is a theoretical part please read it in your free time let's complete it the windows session the interactive mode non-interactive mode okay it is just a short notes section Please read it. I'm gonna complete the section because I've already read it. I want you guys to read the whole theoretical part because it is so interesting. Interacting with the Windows operating system, we have graphical user interface that is GUI, remote desktop protocol that is RDP, Windows command line and CMD. So we can use the help command. We have already seen this in our other videos. okay ip config already know powershell cmd lets aliases is also there alias get alias command will give us the list of aliases we have let's let's write the get alias command okay let's do it in a practical way let me clear the screen mm, get get alias i'm using tab for auto completion okay 
so these are the aliases we have rd is for remove item rp is for remove item property select select object ls get child item so we have shorted as ls help is shorted as man man page mkdir is shorted as md great move item okay move item is shorted as move mount cool okay so let's see our question by the way we can run a script as well execution policies get execution policy list we have uh, three three six seven execution policies in windows operating system restricted and restricted bypass okay let's see our question first so we have two question what is the alias set for the ip config dot exe command okay so we have already fired that command and uh, if config is there ip config and if config if config is short name or alias for ip config dot exe so let's write if config okay if config let's submit it next question is find the execution policy set for the local machine scope okay we know uh, here we have the command okay go up see get execution policy list get execution policy hyphen list and the local machine we have unrestricted execution policy for local machine so let's write unrestricted unrestricted okay let's submit the answer cool mark and complete windows management instrumentation vmi vmi service manage object so these are the components basically use vmi to find the serial number of the system okay so let's go up and see how we can use this command and we can use this following command right get vmi object class windows 32 operation system select system directory serial numbers version okay let's quickly paste this will be our command and the serial number is this copy it build number serial number and the version let's go down submit the answer let's complete the section the next section is microsoft management console that is mmc mmc can be used to group snap ins or administrator tools to manage hardware software and network components within the windows host okay i think we don't have to perform this yeah windows subsystem for linux wsl is a feature that allows linux binaries to be run natively on windows 10 and windows server 2019 it was originally intended for developers who need to run bash ruby okay the ls command u name hyphen a we know how to use this right ls command is also there cool next section is desktop experience versus server core so the following table shows some of the application available on server core versus desktop experience please read the whole theory windows security that is my favorite the security identifiers that is sid for each of the security principles of the system has a unique security identifier that is SID. The system automatically generates SIDs. And uh, let's check with the whoami command. Who am I? User. So this will be the HTB student. SID is here. Great. 
you can also learn the meaning of each piece of the CID here. Sorry, SID. I was pronouncing it CID. I don't know why. I think I have watched CID a lot. The security account manager that is SAM and access control entries ACE. This is a very great concept by the way. Registry is a database and it is really important for the Windows operating system. It stores low level settings for the Windows operating system and application that chooses to use it. So these are the registry values and type. Please make your notes huh? because HTB already created a very great notes but personal notes are also important ls command gci hidden the user specific registry hive is stored in the user folder this folder nt user dot dat or dat run and run once registry keys these are the registry keys application whitelisting app locker let's go down and see the question find the SID of the bobs.smith user. So we have to find the SID of this user. Let me close it. And we'll write the CMD. We'll open the command prompt and we'll use the vmic user account get name and CID. Sorry, SID. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm pronouncing it CID. <laughs> actually i'm shooting this video at 3 a.m in the morning so please forgive me if i am making any pronunciation mistake in this video so here is a sid of bob smith let's copy it and paste it here submit the answer cool what third party security application is disabled at startup for a current user the answer is case sensitive for that question we have to use the following command like the htb already provided that uh, go up so this will be the command okay here is an example like showing the application running under the current user while logged into the system okay let's paste the query and hit enter oh it is not vpn Okay, not vpn.exe. Great. VPN, not VPN. VPN should be in capital letters. Submit it. Yes. Let's complete the section. Okay, skill assessment, Windows fundamentals. Okay. So, first we have to, in this demonstration, you are creating a shared folder called company data let me copy it okay just forget it i will write so first we have to create a shared folder called company data creating a subfolder called hr inside of the company data folder so let's go and quickly create like right click new folder and we have to write company data folder now it should be a shared folder so right click on the folder go to the properties and click on this sharing tab okay click on the advanced sharing option and here you can click on this checkbox that is share this folder and uh, you can also see the permissions as well everyone is a group okay and it is a default group for this folder so let me cancel it and let's quickly share this folder okay and close it and open the company data folder right click click on new folder we have to create an hr folder and it is also a shared folder creating a sub hr inside the company data folder okay now next is creating a user called jim okay we have done the two points 
so let's go to the computer management local user and group click on user sorry right click on user new user we will write jim full name will be jim and they have mentioned here the user must change password at logon okay it is already checked user must change password at next logon and we'll write the password of jim that is jim at one two three four five i'm sorry jim and at the rate one two three four five confirm one two three four five okay let's create the gym user cool uh, double click on the user so you will see the gym is present here and the HTB is also there bob smith is also there administrator is also there okay now what we have to do creating a security group called hr great let's go to the groups sorry sorry let's go to the groups and we have these groups so let's create a new group that is hr new group hr create the hr group is there what next adding gym to the hr security group let's add right click on the hr group so double click on the hr group click on the add and enter the object name so we have to write the gym and you can also check the names okay and when you click on the check names you will see the gym is here now let's add gym to the hr security group okay double check the gym is present okay great okay gym is present in the hr security group now the best part is started the adding the hr security group to the shared company data folder and ntfs permission list so we have to first add the hr security group to the shared company data folder okay so remove the default group that is present okay share permission allow change and read so let's go to the shared folder company data right right click on it go to the properties sharing advanced sharing first we have to remove the group that is everyone right remove now let's add the hr group check names hr okay and we have to write the change and read permission okay apply okay and the next part is we have to done the dis disable in inheritance before using before issuing specific ntfs permission okay so let's go to the security tab click on the advance button and this is disable inheritance option is there click on it convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object yes go ahead okay now we have to add select a principal hr okay and the ntfs permission update virus protection okay what are the permissions we have modify read and execute list folder content read write modify read write okay cool the hr group is there let's close it okay adding the hr security group to the ntfs permission list of the hr sub folder 
remove the default group that is present okay let's go to the hr sorry <laughs> let's click on right click on hr and go to the properties sharing click on the permission okay let's wait it is hr change and read read permission is also there okay okay so the hr group is already present so we have to disable the inheritance so we have to go to the security and uh, click on the advanced option disable inheritance disable okay convert apply now we have to add a principle that is what hr hr is also there by the way but the ntfs permission of the hr folder is different so we have to write the modify and write permission okay apply okay close using powershell to list details about a service you can write the get service to get the service detail about a because they are not asking for any specific service right so let's see the okay there's the questions what is the name of the group that is present in the company data share permission acl by default company data share permission acl so permission acl we have seen the everyone was there okay everyone group was present by default yes it is correct what is the name of the tab that allows you to configure ntfs permission ntfs permission uh, this particular tab okay let me show let me show you go to the hr properties so we are using two tabs okay first is sharing the second one is security okay security is for the ntfs permission full access modify read and write okay so the security tab is the answer security tab submitted what is the name of the service associated with windows update okay so we have to write that get service command okay i'm ready for that go to the powershell and write get service command hit enter you will see all the running services so we are searching for the windows update right uh, where is the what is the question what is the name of the service associated with windows update windows update so here is a service that is wua okay windows update <laughs> let me copy it okay this will be the service of windows update that is running in the system submit list the cid sorry sid associated with the hr security group you created okay cool okay let me clear the screen so we have already used that command that is vm wmic user account get name and sid so here is our bob smith sid and the, the gym is also created right we have created the gym so the gyms sid is also there so we can change it to the group okay let's write g r o u p group hit enter and the hr sid is here copy it and save it the list the sid associated with the user account gym you created okay we have to write the sid of gym as well so this is the sid of gym submit cool 
so let's finish so we have successfully completed the windows fundamental module great let's view the details again okay so you know go to the ntfs share permission so what i was trying i was trying to connect to the share okay that we have created and uh, that was denied okay i was using this command that is smb client okay smb client hyphen l and then i was providing the ip address i have done all the things okay but i wasn't able to connect to the share the reason we are not connecting to the share of the company data is because the smb port is closed i have checked uh, the ports through nmap so you can also check that if you are able to connect to the share that is great please let me know as well if you know it so i hope you like it and it's too late so i am ending this video please let me know your thoughts in a comment section and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep learning bye bye